In this episode of The Joy of Editing, we'll be focusing on vignettes and spotlights in Photoshop. I'm Dave Kelly, and I'll be showing you how to effectively use these tools to improve the visual impact of your images. You don't want to miss this one. Stay tuned. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today it's going to be a Photoshop tutorial. This won't be a real long tutorial, but it's going to be a good one for you. We'll be using vignettes and spotlights to add a visual impact to your images. And I have two different examples to show you and two different ways of going about it. This is the first image we're working on, and then I'll be working on this one here. So we have this nice cabin with some light coming off it, but I'll show you how we can really add some nice visual impact to this, as well as this first image. So we have this scene, this landscape scene, but we have some nice light coming in here from the left down onto the scene here. So what I want to do in this scene is use a vignette to go around the scene, but just not a basic vignette. We want to use a more elaborate vignette, and I'll show you what I mean in a sec. But we want to be able to darken the edging all around the image and into the image somewhat, and then bring some nice, beautiful light into this area here. And we're we're going to do it all with curves adjustments. It's real simple and easy to do. We're going to use a lasso tool to get a organic shape around this image for the vignette. So type your L key to get your lasso tool. And we're looking for the dark areas. So I'm going to start like right here. See like these clouds here. I'm going to go out of the frame and miss these clouds up in the left hand corner and then come back in down in here. I want to stay away from the light area in the middle. And again, it's very organic and loose and come back and in like I went out of the frame over here. So you can see I have this very organic shape here. Now what we need to do is we have a selection and you can see that by the marching ants. All we need to do is come down and let's get ourselves a curves adjustment layer. And when we do, we can see we have a mask on there. Now it's the opposite of what we want. So we need to invert it. So you can do a command or control I, that's a shortcut to invert that mask. And now all we need to do is take this curves adjustment and we can pull down on it and darken that area. Now you might say, well, Dave, that looks horrible. <laughs> Look at that. But I'm going to show you something really cool with a curves adjustment layer. Right now we're on the actual curve itself, but you see this little mask icon. If you click on it, you'll notice you have a density slider. You can control the density of the mask with that, which is a nice handy adjustment. But then we have a feathering here. We can actually feather this mask. So let's start dragging this feather slider to the right. And as we do, we're going to be adding a blur. You see that it starts to blend in. Now just keep moving it to it looks like it's just blending very naturally. And I think I'll take it over to around like 200, 200 pixels. Well, 193. But let's take a look. Here is the before and here's after. But isn't that beautiful? And already we have drawn the viewer's attention into the light area here in the center of the image, which is what we want to do. But we're not done there. Next, we're going to add a spotlight to this area in here. And we're going to use that same technique with the lasso tool. I also want to point out one nice thing about this feather adjustment. You can always come back here and readjust it. It's an adjustment layer. It's not a smart object, but we have adjustments here. So we can work with density and feathering. But now let's work on the area that we want to lighten up. So here's what I want to do here. I'm going to start to lasso around this area in here. Come down into here and maybe over and up like that. And now let's get another curves adjustment layer. And this time we don't have to invert the mask. But let's start to lift up here on the highlight side and just lighten it up. Now here's a nice thing to do when you're lightening. You can add a little bit of contrast. So if you come to the left side of this curve and you can just pull down here a little bit and add a little bit of contrast. And we can always come back to these layers and readjust and tweak. So there we go. So now let's click on the mask icon and let's start to feather that in. And we'll find a nice little spot where it blends really nice. And I think maybe like that. Now here is the before and here's the after. But isn't that nice? And now we could come back and click on this icon. And maybe we want to lighten that up a little bit more. Just a little bit. Here's something else we can do. We can click on this drop down menu here. Right now we're on RGB. 
working with the luminosity, but we can click on say red and maybe add a little bit of a red into there to warm it up and maybe click on blue. And if you drag down on blue, you're gonna add a little bit of yellow in there. So like that. So now we have a nice warm glow in there. So here's the before and here's the after. So it's really nice. And uh, if you need to come back and adjust the luminosity, you can click on RGB again. And maybe I'm a little too light, maybe something like that. So here's the before and here's the after. Now, don't forget with these layers, we have opacities, so we can adjust these opacities if we want to. And what I like to do when I'm done with that is I like to put these two layers in a group. Right now, we're on Curves 2. If I hold my Shift or the Command key down and click on Curves 1, and then right-click in this area in here, we can group from layers, and we put that in a group, and we could call this, let's just call it Spotlight. I think that makes sense. And click OK. So now we can see here's before the spotlight and here is after. But isn't that nice? It brings us right in. And then we have the opacity of the group. So if the entire effect is too strong, we can pull back and just add the amount that we want. So we have a lot of adjustment here. And you can always come back up and open up this group and readjust either one of these curves, one for the um, vignette and one for the spotlight. But now let me show you another way of doing it. We're going to be doing it basically the same way. But instead of using a selection tool, we're going to paint it in and we get a little bit more control when we do it this way. I'm going to shut this group off and we'll start again. This time, instead of starting out with a selection, we're not using a selection. So we're just going to come down and grab a curves adjustment. And what we want to do is I'm going to start with vignetting. So I'm going to go ahead and darken the image to the area that I think it should be. Maybe right around here is a good starting point. We can always come back and change this. But right now we have a white mask on here. We need to invert it. So it's Commander Control I to invert the mask. And now I recommend a very soft brush, 0% hardness. It's a pretty big brush. And I have my flow set at 1%. And to get the flow to 1%, a shortcut is hold down your Shift key, hold down your 0 key, and type 1. That'll give you really nice control. You don't lift the brush. I'm going to start painting in these corners here like this. I'm just painting on my vignette wherever I want it to go. Okay, so I'm going to come into here, over in here a little bit, up into these clouds. I'm lifting my brush and starting to paint here. I'm staying away from these clouds up in here. And I'm going to darken up this area all the way down into these clouds. See, you get a lot more control here. And mainly the corners, I really want to have them vignetted. I'm just going to paint a little bit here and here. And just give me some nice vignette down around here on these corners over in here, staying away from the center. Now here is the before and here is the after. So that's pretty cool. Now let's do the same thing. Let's grab another curves adjustment layer. This time we're going to lighten up for our spotlight. So maybe right around there, add a little bit of contrast to it, something like that. And now let's invert this mask. Commander Control I to invert that mask. We still have that white brush with a 1% flow. And now we're just going to go ahead and start to paint in our vignette. Like, not our vignette, I'm sorry, our spotlight, not vignette. All these light areas up in here, and I can even come up in here, and even up in the corner here, we can add a little bit of that up in there. Come in here, maybe up in here a little bit, lighten this up, maybe come over in here a little bit. But that nice soft edge brush. Let's take a look. Here is the before, and here is the after. Now, let's go ahead and click on this drop down and let's go to red. Let's warm that up a little bit like that and maybe click on the blue and just pull down on the blue a little bit, add a little bit of yellow in there, not too much like that. Here's the before and here's the after. And again, we can come back to RGB and if I want that to be maybe a little bit lighter, maybe something like that. And let's put these in a group. I'm going to hold my Commander Control key down and click Curves 3 and then right click anywhere here on either one of those selected layers and then just click on Group from Layers. And let's give it a name. Let's call this one Paint Spotlight and we'll click OK. And now remember we have the overall opacity. We can bring this down if it's too strong. We can open this group up and make any readjustments we want. So let me close this again. Okay, so here was our first technique with the selection. There's the after, here's the before, 
And here's our second technique. They're both nice. They're both going to get the same job done, but it depends on which one you like. Sometimes I use the selection method. Sometimes I use the paint method. It's whatever you feel like or whatever you feel the image needs. If you want more control, I highly recommend the painted method. Now let's go on to our next image. Uh, on this one, I'm just going to cut to the chase and go right to the painted method. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a curves adjustment layer, start to pull down on it for the darkening vignette to maybe somewhere right around here, I think looks good. I'm going to invert this command or control I, and then with my brush, I'm just going to, I'm going to get a nice big brush here and I'm going to start to paint the vignette. I'm going to keep it down in this area right here. I want to darken this up a little bit, coming over into here, staying away from that beautiful cabin with that beautiful light and away from this area in here. Make sure I get these edges, these corners really darkened like this. Up into here a little bit, up into here. Okay, over and and i think i like it here is the before and here is the after so some nice darkening on there i think that's really good if i want a little darker let me just pull down on this curve a little bit more maybe right there and now let's grab another curves adjustment layer and this time we're going to go ahead and lighten i'm just looking at that cabin area in there i'm going to lighten it up a little bit give it a little bit of contrast and I think right there. And now let's invert this command or control I to invert it. And now let's, uh, with that nice big brush, let's just start painting on some spotlight. Again, I have that 1% flow. I'm going to come down in here and over in here, even on the snow in here a little bit, staying away from all these other areas above it, but right on the cabin itself. And I think that's going to be pretty good. But let's go ahead and click on the drop down and let's click on red and let's warm it up, make it a little more inviting. Maybe like that. And let's uh, go to blue, pull down, and we'll get some yellow in there. Maybe like that. Let's take a look. Here is the before and here is the after. But I think that looks really nice. Let's throw that into a group. I'm going to hold my command or control key down as I click on curves one. Right click in the area here and group from layers. And I'll just call it spotlight. Although I did paint it, but I don't think we need to do that. We know what I just did. Here is the before and here's after. But see how that just pulls you right into that beautiful cabin. And again, you can open this group up and make adjustments. Or you can, if you're on the actual spotlight group, you can take the opacity and pull it back a little bit if it's a little too strong, but I'm going to leave it up full so you can really see it. But again, the before and the after. Well, there it is, everyone. That's how you can add some nice visual impact to your image, drawing your viewer into the light areas of the image. You know, we're always drawn to that light. And if you have a scene with some beautiful light, this is a great technique to try out using a vignette and a spotlight to really let your viewer come into your image. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. If you did, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to this channel, please subscribe, click that bell notification icon. Then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get a notification. Now, I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me again on the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. And I will see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.